here I am at SeaTac Airport. The flight was uneventful. <laughs> oh no, I just kidding about that. There was this guy sitting next to me on the flight. Is this my shuttle? I'm not sure. I don't know what's happening. He tried to show me his smartphone and he wanted help. <sighs> this isn't it. He wanted help connecting to the Wi-Fi. And fam, when I tell you I sh my pants, like I was so afraid and I actually didn't know how to respond to him at all. I think I have to pay attention for a second. There's shuttles approaching. I survived the shuttle ordeal. I'm now trying to pick up my rental car because that's the only option I have because I don't have a smartphone, so no Uber and no Lyft for me. <laughs> Everything has gone fairly smoothly. And um, unfortunately, I think given my actions today, I, I may be an adult. This might be me being an adult. Oh, this might be my car. After not that many mishaps, I have arrived. Actually, the most difficult part of the entire process was opening the front door. I feel actually very <laughs> proud about my driving navigation skills again. Um, oh, check this out. Hang on, Starbucks saved my life. Turned out that South 320th Street went east-west and there was no way of knowing which way I was going, but then I saw my Starbucks and I knew I was going in the right spot. It is day two of the Washington book tour adventure. I'm about to head out to King's Books in Tacoma for my first event out here on the, on the West Coast, my first West Coast event, so that's pretty exciting. To prove how serious I am about my tunes, I brought the Sick Nasty mixtape all the way from New York, and I'm, I'm jamming out. And let's see, do I have my instructions for the day? I do. <laughs> here's, my, here's my music, my tunes are starting. So that's my cue, I better head out. The epicness is calling me to the open road and I will see you guys there. This is Herbert. We are good friends now. I am doing this in the mirror because this camera, no microphone. The audio is better from this side. So I'm gonna just tell you stories. So day one, the flight. I didn't ever get to finish that story. So there was this guy sitting next to me. At some point during the flight, he leans over and he's got his phone in his hand and so all, automatically I'm like, oh, what is this? He wanted help like connecting to the Wi-Fi. I was not prepared for this kind of like, I'm trapped in this interaction and there's no way I can like in, in the next 10 seconds explain to him that I can't interact with a smartphone. So I just played dumb and I took out my flip phone and I was just like, I don't know anything about smartphones. And he saw the flip phone and he was like, Ugh. <laughs> and he went back to doing his own thing. Oh, the event yesterday went pretty well. I met Herbert the bookstore cat. They ordered a ton of my books. They ordered some of the Champion Squire. I'm gonna order some for myself actually. And I'm going to add it to the goodie bags at my Barnes and Noble event on the 17th. So if you guys come, you'll get a free copy of the Champion Squire as well as other, lots of other free stuff. So like, remember, you know, you should come if you want free stuff. And now I am getting ready and heading out for my open mic night at Vault Books and Brew. Let me take a selfie. <laughs> just kidding. I'm, just, I'm being silly. I, I haven't had a lot of sleep. Here we are at the Chanticleer Writers Conference. I'm about to host a coffee clutch talk about out of the box marketing, which is funny because I don't know how to do marketing. So as it gets to that, I mean, by that point, they're about halfway through the book. They probably looked at the ending. They're like, okay, this has possibilities. Y'all, I am shook. This is my debut novel. The trip has come to a conclusion. It was quite the epic ride. Dragon Speaker won an award at the Chanticleer Authors Conference, which was the entire reason I came out here. I didn't know I was going to win the awards. So it was a nice, a nice surprise and a nice little bit of validation. And then yesterday, I was at the Neverending Bookshop in Edmonds, and I met one of my old friends from War Dragons. She came out to the event, so that was really awesome to meet Lyco. And then I just crashed last night, and now I'm here. That concludes my Washington adventure. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will hopefully <laughs> see you next time, assuming my flight
flight arrives in JFK safely. And uh, until then, stay off those phones. <laughs>